Well, hello, TRM partners. Pastor Philip here with Mama Alberta with another weekly word. I'm excited. It's Thanksgiving time. Happy Thanksgiving, partners. Hope you have a uh, a feast in uh, the Word of God and uh, in the physical. We we gonna feast. I just heard I just oh, heard yeah. what we having. Yeah, it's a feast, all right. Yep. <laughs> and I'm gonna enjoy every bit of it. <laughs> I know you. He will. gives us richly all things to enjoy. <laughs> all things. But it is Thanksgiving, and I'm thankful. You were telling me this morning you were just walking around just the house just praising God. the Lord and thanking God for everything. And I was thinking about how Debbie uh, coined the phrase that thank you is the password. What do you mean she coined the phrase? Where do you think she got it? Not Hello? the password, not the Hello? password. Not the password. Debbie, don't even <laughs> pay any attention. <coughs> yeah, it is the password. Yeah, and, and, and uh, you start thanking God. I always thank God I do all too. the time. I all do the too. Time. That's, I'm, I'm constantly, throughout my entire day, during the night, I'll wake up and I say, Thank you, Jesus. Well, all you the know, time. the Bible says in everything, give <coughs> thanks. Me. In exactly. everything. You know, yeah. and not for everything. Not for everything. People but in, mess but up in, on that. Yeah, but in everything, give thanks. But that's not the weekly word. The weekly word that the Lord gave me was direction. Mm, oh, direction. that's good, yeah. Because Boy, that's even, really... even, you know, you just because we have holiday season, you don't take a break from your faith. You never take a break from your expectation. Faith vacation, remember? I did that one time, <laughs> one time only, and, and it, it, it was not good. You took but, a faith vacation? Yeah, remember when we went to North Carolina for our niece's graduation? And I thought, well, you know, we're down here. It was one I don't of those have to get up at 3 o'clock in the morning and pray. <laughs> I don't have to read the word today. <laughs> it was a disaster. Oh, it was a mess. But anyways, read Proverbs 3, 6. Okay. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall, not might. Mm-hmm. Not maybe. Mm -hmm. Not well, he shall. And that's a covenant word, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Shall. Direct your paths. Now, we do partners, that all listen, the time. Listen, every one of us, as we walk this walk, need direction. When you stop needing direction, you become religious. Mm. You're just caught in routine. But well, you're doing it your way. When you acknowledge <laughs> him, what are you acknowledging him for? What direction do I go in? What, should, what direction do I Do I go I this way or that way or that way? And I ain't just talking about uh, geographically, even though, you know, if you needed, if you're lost somewhere, it's God direct you that way. Uh, but in all our ways, acknowledge him. He'll direct what to do, how to do it, who to do it with, when to do it, so on and so forth. Direction. Mm -hmm. He is the master director. Yeah, he is. You know, uh, you know on a movie set, I you, was just thinking of you that. have a director. And he's the one that takes all the scripts and, uh, you know, you have your part, I have my part, Eric has his part, and we've read our script. But there's a director that says, whoa, 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 you don't say that right then. You wait for him to say this or blah, blah, blah. He directs all of the paths of those that are acting to form a storyline that can be conveyed. I was thinking about my best friend growing up, Irene Mariano, how she was a casting director for years out in California. Hollywood. Mm-hmm. For TV, she had these TV programs, and she would she would read the scripts. What was scripts. that big program she had? Dallas. Dallas was one, and Eight is Enough is another mm -hmm. one. Uh, that one for you. Well, both of them till the end, mm -hmm. beginning. She would read all the script, and she would uh, go through all these different actors and actresses, 
and fit with their part with these people. Think about God. Mm. Isn't that good? Mm -hmm. I mean, you never wanted to ask Irene if if she um, if she ever saw a movie before you did. You never asked her. This is way before this when we were growing up. She would tell you if an ant walked across the you know the floor. I mean, she had everything in detail as when we were kids, you mm. know. And here, that's what she was doing. Mm. Yeah. Well, how much more God? How much more God? He knows who we are. What we like, he'll, how we talk. He'll about. direct you to the car. Yes, he will. If you're needing an upgrade, he'll direct you to the house. He's done He'll it direct with us you to the, the job. Watch this. He'll direct you to your spouse. He will. Hello. Or he'll, ladies, he'll direct your spouse to you. Now, <laughs> Proverbs, well, six, Proverbs 16 and uh, verse number 9 now, hon. Proverbs 16, verse 9. Proverbs 16, mm -hmm. and verse 9. A man's heart devises his way, but the Lord directs his steps. That's really good. Mm -hmm. So God not, not only uh, wants to direct your path, he wants to direct your step. Now, here, How to here, get there. Yeah. Well, here's the thing about God. God, de you, he, he declares way. the end from the beginning. He don't tell you the steps. He doesn't tell you that. He didn't tell us this. But if right. in all our ways we acknowledge him. He'll direct our he, path. He, he'll direct our path and he'll direct the steps. Mm -hmm. Now it says a man's heart devises his way. In other words, in our heart, God has, when he created each one of us, we're all created in his image, but we're all created with gifts and and, mm -hmm. and talents. Mm -hmm. And so when when uh, those giftings start to activate, like you were saying about Irene, when you were kids, she was doing stuff. It was oh, a gift. Yeah. Oh, exactly. Right. It was a gift. And and uh, so it's in a man's heart. All right, I want to go in this direction, but how do I go in that direction? I need a director. And God starts directing your steps. You know, uh, I'm thinking about music. You know, when when uh, I was going to be this big rock and roller, right? Oh. And then Hallelujah. we got saved, and I laid it all Thank down. Thank God. Laid it all down. And I didn't know that I could still, because there was, there was something inside of me that always wanted to make music. Not play music, mm -hmm. make music. Mm -hmm. And I didn't know what that was. Mm -hmm. I didn't. I didn't know. I, I wasn't around anybody that made, made music. music. I was around people that played, played music, but not made music. And all of a sudden, you know, I'd be sitting at home with you, and I'd say, "Hey, honey, what about what about this? I made up this little thing." And you look at me and you say, well, "That's that's that's pretty good," you know. And somebody would come over to the house, and I'd say, "They they'd want to hear some top forty song." And I'd say, you know, I'd play it. And then I'd, I'd say, uh, but I, I, I made this thing up. I remember uh, Dick Lozier came over. They came and visited. And they, they traveled. They were and traveling. I, and I played, I played this song. He, that, he lived in Oregon, right? No, I'm talking about in Quadland. Oh. He came over. Yeah, I was wondering. He came over, and uh, I played a song I'd made up. And uh, he came over again uh, another time, and I was playing these top 40 songs, right? And he said, no, 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 play that song you wrote. I really like that song. Well, that was the first time somebody requested that I could remember a song that I wrote. Well, we get born again. In your haze. <laughs> we get born again. And I laid all that down, remember? Yeah. Gave my guitars away except one. And the Lord and, told you to. Yeah, and, and I'm sitting he there. He was directing. He was directing. He was getting me away from the electric guitars at the moment to where I just had an acoustic guitar, and, uh, and, and then I didn't want to play it. I just wanted to read the Word, go to church. I didn't know what was going on. But then... Uh, you really we were have in a, a we, we were in, we were in church, we were in church that had this 
whole worship team, and I'd never seen anything like that. And the guys up there had electric guitars, drummers up there with a full drum set, and I mean, they're going, they're going to town. I'm like, wow, I didn't know you could do that. Then uh, uh, my old Cub Scout leader found out I got saved, was visiting Wilmore again, and went by my mom's house, and mom told them where we lived. They came out. And their son was into Christian music. I didn't even know there was such a yeah, thing. Remember that? Turned us on to all. And he gave me that Christian music uh, magazine. And uh, is that when we discovered Carmen? Yeah, yeah. And and we were uh, talking about him last week. Yeah, and so God's directing, God's directing, and then you know here it is, uh, thirty-three years later. Uh, probably nearing 500 songs now. Uh, some songs that will never ever, people will never hear. Uh, you know, I just, I write them and so on and so forth. And and some of them are just personal. Some of them, like, like the song I wrote for you at our uh, wedding renewal, you know, I'm never gonna sing that again, that I know of. Uh, but God was directing. It's a good song for, for a wedding though. But what I was trying to do, what I was trying to do, remember when I was trying to put that a band together? Because I, I saw that vision. Do I remember? And, you know, any any musician in, in these churches that we were going to, I'd invite them over to the house. And they, they liked the music that I was writing, but it, nothing was right. Nothing. They it was always, right. it, it was always them were right. conflict and... <laughs> You know this and that, and I think that one that one gal told me I need to change the lyrics. You know, and, all, and I said, "Whoa, whoa, whoa, whoa. You, you know, Most we're going to we're going to change the lyrics. You you ain't going to be singing them." So, anyways, uh, but the Lord kept directing. The Lord kept directing, mm -hmm. and uh, He never directed you to any of those people. You always. No, I was trying to do it. That's right. I was trying to do it without the director. That's right. And and it's just, God. you know, faithful thou works is dead. You know, that's what I was thinking. I was just young. And uh, I wasn't operating in wisdom. Go go to Ecclesiastes 10.10 10 and, and look at that, hon. Because, partners, direction is so vital for your life. But now listen, you got to be able to follow directions. You know, I was putting those faucets in 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 in, in the bathroom, right? <laughs> okay. Well, you know, after a while, I had pulled the directions out. Well, thank you. That's why it took right? so long. No. It, <laughs> yeah. Those directions had a step one, step two, step three. It, my steps were being directed. Uh -huh. Right. Thank you. And when I when I followed the directions, it made it easy. We have water. Right? Jeez. Now, if, if I've been working for prophetic plumbing, uh -uh. they'd have lost money on that job. They, they sure would have. Sorry, sorry, guys. <laughs> read, no, read, thank God. Read Ecclesiastes 10.10. 10. Okay. It says, If the iron be blunt, and he do not wet the edge, then must he put more... Put. Wait a minute. Then must he put to more strength. But wisdom is profitable to direct. I it's know, talking about, I it's exactly talking about a sword. Here. It's talking about an axe. If, if the edge is dull and it hasn't been sharpened, it's then you're going to have to use more strength to cut through versus if, if, if you kept it sharp. And it, and, and it compares that to wisdom. That's good. Wisdom is profitable to, to direct. direct. That's really good. See? And so we need that wisdom. I remember one time when, uh, as a young boy, Daddy I told me to exactly sharpen the axes because we're gonna go cut wood the, that next and Saturday. And I messed around playing basketball. I didn't do it. And we got out there, and boy, he took his axe, and uh, <laughs> he he swung it, and it didn't do nothing much. And he he swung it again, and then he looked at the edge, and he popped me upside my head. He said, "What's that?" Had to stop. Yay. Had to stop and sharpen the axes, right? Takes a then. lot of work. Once, once you do that, once we did that, 
then the ax does what it's designed to do. You don't have to use a whole lot of strength. Well, when you're operating outside of wisdom and you're just operating in natural wisdom, yeah, there's some natural wisdom. Well, I can figure that out, you know, and, and so on and so forth. Uh, matter of fact, uh, last night I was up underneath the sink and I needed, I needed you. And I hollered, Alberta. And, and you was way off in the other room. And I hollered loud, Alberta. And you couldn't hear me. I'm like, man, and I'm laid on my back underneath that sink. How am I going to stop this thing from, and I looked up and I said this. I said, Lord, I need, I need some help here. Thank you. I looked up and, and through the hole where I put the faucet out, I could see the, what, what I needed to stop. And I just took a tool and stuck it through there to hold it in place and then fixed what I needed to do right there. It was just wisdom to direct. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. And, you know, to follow a recipe. There's directions. I don't know anything about that. Well, you need to. <laughs> no, I don't. Those days are over. What do you mean they're over? I'm not, you I'm... told me if I got you a kitchen, you'd cook. Oh, honey, I think you dreamt that. I never said that. I've never been into cooking. Now, you're, I've never, you're, ever you're, been You're in. talking before, before the Lord. I know exactly what I'm doing. You're talking before the Lord. You keep saying that, but it's not true. I never had a just. I, I like to party because I never, I had never had a family. I never had to cook every day. When we got born again, I, we never had money that I would cook every day. And so, and, you know, the only are one I saying, cook for is my little boy. Are you saying, lift, put your hand on this Bible. Put your hand on this Bible. Lift your hand. Go like this. You swear I do. that you never told me that that's if right. I got you a kitchen. Honey, you said that. I, that's that not if true. I got you a kitchen. I'm swearing Lord, to you. Look at what he's if doing. I... Isn't that ridiculous? <laughs> that's ridiculous. Because I've heard you say that many times, and that's not true, because I never. I like cooking once in a while, but I don't need a kitchen. I used to cook out on the island with that little burner. Yeah. And so we went to. We had noodles out there. Ramen noodles. I didn't cook no ramen noodles. No way. <laughs> Plus, I went to the best. Partners, home. direction. We're in this season Father, of, of Thanksgiving. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I just thank the Lord I have a wife that cooks. No, you don't. And, and uh, <laughs> that she's happy about it. And that uh, she said she ain't never had a family. I'm believing for more restaurants here. No, I'm believing for my 12 chefs. Well, in the meantime. So if anybody wants to. Uh, I'm, just, I'm praying that the Lord <laughs> will direct your steps. Anyways, uh, direction. Crazy. In the season that we're living in, Thanksgiving, got Christmas coming up, uh, New Year's coming up. Uh, there's a lot of things, you know, uh, uh, that you need direction in. We always need direction. That's right. We always, always. need not We're just not just to. not just in the holiday That's time, right. but in this season of hundredfold, in this season of we always of, need direction of, of prospering and and manifesting God's goodness in our life. We need direction. We so I want to pray yeah. for you today that Thank that you. God would give you direction uh, for whatever direction you may need in your life. Albert and I we believe in God for some big things. You know, we're building phase two here. It requires constant direction. Constant, constant. Uh, because Everything. there's always situations rising up. How do we want to do this? How do we want to do that? Well, Lord, how do we want to do this? How do we want to do that? Honey, and then he directs our steps. Proverbs chapter three says, in all your ways, not in some of your ways, it says in all mm -hmm. your ways, yeah. Acknowledge him, mm -hmm. and he will direct your steps. Mm -hmm. And as I say, just around the holidays, or if I you're cooking, said. or no, you no, know, yeah, you did in a sense, but that's it. it. It we're supposed to continually, every day, all day. I mean, we don't go out to the car without uh, asking the Lord to direct mm -hmm. their steps, and angels mm -hmm. enforce the covenant. Mm -hmm. You know, we take care of everybody on the road, animals, pets, everything. I mean, we, we cover it all mm -hmm. before we start that car. Mm -hmm.
Well, the master director is going to direct our steps. Thank you, Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray for all of our partners yes, that they have Lord. a blessed, 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 happy Thanksgiving. And that the direction that they need in their lives for whatever, whatever it may be. It may be a, uh, they're walking out of healing. It may be that uh, they're wanting an upgrade in a certain area of their life or uh, a different uh, career move or whatever it may be. Or, or what you've gifted them to do in ministry and so on and so forth. They need in your direction. And Lord, we just pray right now that you'll make it obvious to them the next step mm -hmm. that they are to take. We thank you for it, and we bless them, spirit, soul, body, financially, socially. In Jesus' name, so be it. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Well, we love you, partners. We're thankful, f we're thankful for you. That's right. Ecclesiastes chapter 8, verse 4 says, Where the word of a king is, there, there is power. power. Be a blessing.